Here's a quick demo on how to restore a file using CrashPlan. Step 1, open the CrashPlan application by clicking on its icon on the dock. You'll then be presented with this window. On the left hand side, click the Restore button. Here you'll see a list of all the files that have been backed up. We're going to imagine that I want to restore a file from my desktop, so I come to my desktop folder, click the arrow next to it, wait for the files to appear, locate the file that I want to restore, select the file by inserting a check mark next to its name here on the left side, check my settings down here, it tells me that it's going to restore the most recent version of this file from the most recent backup performed by CrashPlan to the desktop and it will rename any existing files with that same name. It's, I've selected one file that's 270 kilobytes. I'm going to start the restore process by clicking this restore button and now watch the status messages. Right now it tells me that the restore is pending. I needed to wait about 30 seconds and then the file had been restored from CrashPlan and was on my desktop. It's located right here and I can open up and there's a copy of the file that I restored. Now that's how to do restore if you want to grab the most recent version of a file. But what if you want to get a uh, previous version of the file? What you can do is in this restore area click here under restore the most recent. Click on the word most recent and you'll see a calendar that lets you select previous times today. So if I want to get a backup of a file from say three hours ago I could just adjust the time. If I want to get a version from last week, say last Thursday, at a particular time, say the end of the day, I can enter the time there, click OK, and now the files that I'm looking at here are all from that backup last Friday at, excuse me, last Thursday at 5 p.m. Again, I can click on a particular file that I might want. I'll select this PDF. I've selected one file. It's going to be restored to the desktop. Exists. I click the restore button. I wait. The restore is running. You can see the progress and the restore has finished. And now that PDF file has been restored to my desktop.